Well, g'day everyone and welcome to Diamond Art Waddell. I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas and is looking forward to the new year. I was lucky to receive some really fun things and I want to share with you today on the channel. And I'm going to just pan down and show you the wonderful gift I received at Christmas. This is a beautiful 70 by 70 and Stokes diamond painting on wooden frame. And we're going to unbox it on the channel. How cool is that? All right, so I've moved the beautiful big painting onto the table and hopefully we can get all of it in shot, most of it anyway. So this is just the cover, the box that I was just showing before in the intro. And it is a beautiful image here of this beautiful red dragon. It is Anne Stokes collection. So if you know Anne Stokes and her beautiful work, you will enjoy watching the rest of this unboxing. Um, it's a really lovely artwork done by this lady. So, and I really enjoy her work with the dragons. This is a Crafts Buddy DIY Crystal Art Kit and it's called Dragon's Lair. It is 70 by 70 centimeters, which is approximately 28 inches by 28 inches. Um, it has have some information there, www.craftsbuddylimited.co.uk on the box there. Um, this is not where I actually got this one from. This was a gift for Christmas, but I do know where it was from and I'll show you that in a moment. Yeah, it says full crystal 70 by 70 and it's a ready on wooden frame diamond painting. So it is ready already on a big board and ready to craft. So this is a big project um, I'm going to work on over the year, hopefully and be finished by next Christmas. But I'll add all that information in the description box down below. Alrighty. So let's start getting into this really big box. And I'm really not sure how I'm going to manage to do this in the shot, but I'm definitely going to try. And I'm not going to fall off this ladder I'm on either. Because I have to actually get up high enough to oh, move it into shot. Okay. Oh. I don't even know which end to open this from. I hope I've got the right spot. Nope. Nope. Okay. I've got to come around to here. Oops. Hang on. I'm going to cut that tape. Because it's got tape on there. And it's not going to come off without me cutting the tape. Oh. Couldn't have been that easy, could it now? And I have another one. Oh golly, there goes the whole thing. And I have another one at this end. This is dangerous, to say the least. Oh. And I'm up high. Whew. Okay, finally got there with that. Okie doke. Oh. So as you can see, it has a nice big boarded wooden frame. The pink edge. Okay, that works. This is really heavy. Hang on. I'm not really sure how I'm going to get this out of here. Oh, here it goes. <gasps> Nearly everything goes too. Oh. Blimey. Josephine's nearly took out everything getting that out of the big box. I'm just going to pop that down back on the table. 
Whoa, okay. It's out of the box. I style so that. Maybe I can get down off the ladder a bit. So I've got it out of the box. It's a big box. Jeez Louise. This is the problem I suppose with the whole already on the board frames they take up big spaces. Check that out. Alright, so the box has a few details on the back. As you can see, contents, etc. and step-by-step -step instructions. But yeah, any information I think is deemed worthy, I shall put in the description box. Oh, it is all wrapped in the plastic. You can see the image is really gorgeous, very big. If I turn it over, oops, in the back, sealed in the back is all the drills and bits and pieces to the kit. So I'm just going to open that up and be very noisy. Oh my goodness, this is stuck fast. Okay, got to be careful. This thing goes right to the edge. Stuck on the edge. pop it down the floor so I can actually get the plastic off it but there it is fully out of its packaging it is glued right to the edge but we'll have a look closer at the canvas in just a moment and by jingos that glue is sticky I've got to be really careful all right so it's basically all in shot first I can from this angle but that is the diamond painting out of its box. It still has the clear cover for the glue and it looks amazing. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. I love it. All right, what I'm gonna do now is bring it on down closer to the canvas and save me having to go up and down that ladder. So that's literally what I'm doing. So I'm a bit more closer now to the canvas and I can show you some of the details and that's the beautiful dragon's face and we can see a really whoops a really nice clear drilling field it is good the camera's not being good but it is good I'll try and move this canvas around a little bit to sort of just show you some of the details. Big wings, lots and lots of red, big red dragon. His tail there in the background. And you can see the drill, drilling field's really, really good. Really fine, but really lovely. It is right to the edge, as you can see, to the wooden frame. And you can just feel a little bit touch of the glue just right to the edge. So it is right to the edge. These drills.
if I take the plastic off you can just see it's got a nice cover of glue and beautiful symbols easy to read be interesting having these and use though together so see how that goes so it is ready to hang image you don't have any of your details like you do your other canvases on there this is strictly just the complete canvas all the way around 70 by 70 full deal done all right so what i'm going to try and do uh, is just just turn it over just to show you if i can the back and how neatly done that's done at the back there very nice work nice and clean and get a little bit of stamp and some size there referencing but yeah now the interesting part with this canvas and I don't know I'm gonna have to take a photo or something I think unless it's somewhere else as well we'll find out is the key is on the back here and it's an overhang by the looks of it so I can just cut it out okay that's cool there we go there's my little cutout symbol so you just cut this little overhang off I was wondering how I was going to do that when I saw it there and you have all your key here so yep you've got plenty of overhang you can safely take your key off canvas and you just take your cam key off the canvas there and unhitch it from there by just snipping off that dot, that dotted line so while we are looking at it we have our icon there from people creating these canvases we have 25 colors and we have a really nice uh, simple drill code and drill numbers as well so you've got your DMC coding as well on this one so yeah that's just a full view of the chart there try the best I can get the angles I'm on and that shows you 25 colors and all your symbols so that was interesting to figure out what was going on there but yeah it's just an overhang comes off we could be able to cut off nice and easy and you've got a really nice thick golly it's a nice thick canvas too and nice strong boards so this is going to be a fun interesting very different type of diamond painting to work on all right what I'll actually do is I'm going to remove the canvas now to the side <laughs> off it goes and we're going to have a look at some of the other things that were in the box so you have your DIY crafts art kit instructions instructees as it says up top there instructions for the English versions as well so a couple of different languages nicely illustrated nice and simple inf information so it's basically step by step um, how to work up your diamond painting kit handy especially if you come across someone who hasn't diamond painted before at all this is the kit that you receive and that monster it's a monster of a diamond painting one of the bigger ones I've got so it has two pens so I'm gonna have to get a helper I think by the looks of this uh, some three I think they're three places and some single drills pens 
but one boat. No, two boats. Two boats, two waxes, and a big lot of baggies. So I would say you nearly have a bag for every colour here because there'd be enough, I reckon, to have a bag for every colour. Lots and lots of baggies. So you can kit up quite safely and put all your colours as you open them into one of the Ziploc bags, which I've now let out into the world and cannot put them back into the bag. That's okay. So in the toolkit, apparently, it wants to roll away. All right, so the next thing to look at, of course, is the drills to this kit. And we have two huge bags of round drills. Thank goodness it's round. That's all I can say really right now. Holy dooly. Right. So just at the minute I'm a bit concerned because I can see some loose looking drills in here. So I might not open this particular packet right now on camera until I actually sort out some of the issues I have here. I don't want to mix them up any more than I have to. But you can sort of see uh, the browns and tones and blacks and so forth in there. But I'm not going to muck around with that big packet right now. This one is looking better. So I will open this one so we can have a look at the drill quality because I think they'll be much and muchness across the board, the same sort of packaging. A lot of drills. I would like an in inventory sheet on how many drills were in this diamond painting that would have been interesting to have. Oh, terrifying. How do you look at it? Whoa, look at all the reds. <gasps> My goodness, this is going to take a long time. Okey this is a huge ribbon. Huge! Multiple of everything, by the looks of it. So. They don't have numbers, so we'll just go with whatever feels right at the time. They just have the letters on the bag for these drills. So no more information but the letter that you're using on the canvas. And they have just that white strip. But it's printed quite big, so it should be okay. We should be good. Holy dooly. But we're just going to have a bit of a look around at these particular drills because I think they'll be fine. But it'd be nice to have a look at. These are the browns, and they have a nice shine by the looks of them. I'm trying to get this in a good, good position. Some tone, tanny colours. Yeah, some multiples of reds you'll find as similar colours or same colours as well. Oh yes, they are all the same. Yeah, Joe, Joe, Joe. So I have got four of this colour. But they look really pretty and really nice and shiny. Nice and clean. They look nice and clean. Yeah, I think they'll be all right. Wow, this red though. Whew. That'd be bright. That's beautiful, isn't it? So I've got three of those. Now I've got this really dark plummy red color. Really beautiful color. Again, they all look really nice. They look clean, they're not staticky, none of those issues. Wow. 
that is one, two, three, four, five, six big bags of that L. Ooh. Okay, so this is A. That's all I can tell you about that. There's two of those, it's the browns. This is bright too, another different shade of red. How many of those have I got? Four. Four of these. Four of this colour red. Which is different to the other ones apparently. Then I have this really orangey bright red as well. So lots and lots of reds. But as you can see, um, the drills look really nice. Ooh, a bit of peachy colour as well. Okay. A little bit of cream to break it up and browns. So majority is reds and browns in this and the drills do it lovely and I wouldn't even like to think how many bags there are here of drills but there is a lot. A lot of drills. Woo. Alrighty. Um, yeah. So, I've, as I said, I'm not going to really open this because I'm just worried about drills going absolutely everywhere at the moment. I'll investigate that a bit further. But that's the only thing I can see being not even really an issue, really. It's just something to be careful of. It happens sometimes in drill kits for some reason. Um, yeah, what a wonderful big <laughs> diamond painting. It's very different. It's a beautiful image. It's Ann Stokes um, licensed piece so that's really awesome and I thought it is it is actually it is a wonderful gift it's absolutely perfect for me so I'm very lucky to have received that for Christmas so if you enjoyed looking through that one let me know because I think it's a really unique piece it's a very big piece mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it there guys thank you very much again for spending the time with me today I do appreciate that and I hope everyone did have a really wonderful time during Christmas. It can be a uh, very busy and tiring and emotional all day. So, um, yeah, hope everyone got through it okay. <laughs> and, yeah, that pretty much concludes my unboxing of my Christmas DP. So, wow, that was exhausting, but exhilarating at the same time. Awesome and yeah thank you everyone for watching this is Dell signing out bead your life beautiful with diamond art i'll see you in the next video till then stay safe and be well and bead your life beautiful bye everyone mm -hmm.